How are you seeing primary candidates respond to the uh, to, to the idea that Donald Trump is really going to be what will make or break their campaigns? Are people shifting further to the right to get that endorsement, or maybe not even further to the right, just sort of more into the Make America Great Again camp of things, uh, you know, without being particularly sincere about it? Yeah, good catch, Sophie. It's, it's right. This is The Republican splits are not ideological. This is not a Ronald Reagan conservative, George H.W. Bush moderate ideological split the way there have been in the Republican past. This is an insider-outsider split. And Donald Trump has captured the outsider movement and really elevated it. It's driven by a lot of people who just don't think Washington works anymore for them. That Washington's out of touch, it's too big, it, people who go to Washington go there for the wrong reasons, and they want an outsider. And that was Donald Trump's appeal. So that's really where candidates now in the future of the Republican Party has gone. In my view, that's healthy. I like an outsider Republican Party, a much more blue-collar, working-class party. The issue Republicans have to balance with that is not to say or do crazy things that make us lose votes in the suburbs. We have lost a tremendous number of college-educated, particularly women, in the suburbs because they think Republicans have lost their minds and gone crazy about certain things. So I'm for the Donald Trump outsider Republican Party that doesn't do or say crazy things.